things that I never did on this car was that I pretty much kind of cheaped out the first time that I did the suspension on it. I used OEM parts, but they were the cheap OEM parts. So now I'm going to be replacing the bushings to polyurethane. Um, got some Powerflex bushings, the little purple ones. So I'm going to move this car right now. I'm just letting it warm up and uh, we'll see how it goes. Nice, beautiful day today. Got my homeboy right here. Oh yeah. So I don't know how well you guys are gonna be able to hear the suspension, how annoying it sounds. I have a speed bump right now. So you'll hear it. There you go. Oof. So one of the ways that you guys can tell that your upper strut mounts or bushings are worn is that you have this big gap right here. There's supposed to be like no gap right here. Similar to this, but this one's all already worn out too. <laughs> so they're both bad. So we'll see what I can do. Oh, that's a beautiful brake setup right there. So if you guys are wondering what kind of brake setup I have, I got some EBC red brake pads. EBC rotors and also H&R suspension. Still got the stock brakes, but I'm gonna be soon replacing them with some Porsche four piston. So since I have coilovers, this is gonna be a lot easier. I could just loosen these things up, just like that. Just loosen this all the way, and I don't need any spring compressor or anything like that. I'm potentially break my face. <laughs> This is going to help me install the bushing a lot easier too. So now I can pretty much undo the bolt that's up on top that's holding it in. But before that, I'm going to loosen up the sway bar. The sway bar is a 19 millimeter in my car. There it is. Now to take off the sway bar, I'm going to use my jack stand. My jack, I should say. And then I'm just gonna raise this and lower it. All right, so I raised up the car a little bit. Hopefully it's enough. And I should just be able to pull this off. Still need a little more. There we go. Now it's off. Here it is. So now I can go ahead and take off the nut from up there and then lower this. So right here there's a nut and a cap and another nut that needs to be removed. First I need to take off this plastic cap. There it is. So right over here there's a 21 millimeter nut. I'll take this off. There's the nut right here. This cap just uh, twists off. There's no sound. So here's the cap. It's pretty dirty, but there you go. And now there's one last 21 millimeter nut that needs to come off. Now I can just lower this. Now I'm just gonna twist this spring off, loosen a lot of the tension that's built in. All right. And here is one of the annoying bushing thing. So this was a lot easier than I thought. And it's only due to the fact that I have coilovers. So this is the thing that I'm replacing. You can see how it's pretty sandwiched down compared to this. I didn't get no special lowering um, strut mount. This is already sandwiched in. And I, it's only been like, what, 10,000 miles since I replaced it. So that's pretty sad. Um, yeah, you can see some cracking in here 
let's see. So there's the cracking that I'm telling you about. And again, here's a compar comparison. So the good and the bad. Putting this thing back on, the, uh, my this is the bearing. This is what allows you to turn the steering wheel. It's pretty good still. So uh, this is the under part of the of the shock mount. So I'm just gonna put this in here. Okay. So now when I move the steering wheel, it's gonna allow it to move. PowerFlex uh, supplies some grease for you. And uh, just gonna add a little bit on the rubbing area so that they don't squeak. So it just lubricated the inside of the bushing. Here's the bearing. It's gonna go in here like that. There you go. So now I am gonna just squeeze this a little. This up on top. So the strut is in. What should I mean? It's up there. Now I'm just gonna lift the jack up it's from the underside. So you guys can see that the nut is exposed. So I'm twisting on right now. And then here's the bushing. And then here's the uh, dampening setting. Just gonna tighten this. There we go. Now I'm gonna put this cap on. This cap right here. Like I said, it just twists on. Cap is installed. Now I'm gonna put this uh, 21 millimeter nut on top. Thread this in, and then tighten it. There we go. Now everything's on there. So at this point, I'm pretty much done. I'm just gonna put the wheel back on and should be ready to go. Man, I got better fitment than before. All right, so this is the finished product. So you guys can see here that there is absolutely no gap in either of the top mounts. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to get an alignment, but it's sitting a lot lower now. Uh, cars on the ground, and it's pretty solid. Now I just have an issue where it's rubbing, but that's gonna be corrected with the alignment, so it's gonna be all good. Go ahead and subscribe and turn on your notifications and follow me on Instagram. Have a good day.